Hello, I'm Thomas and I will guide you through the installation and first steps with Gihydra software. Gihydra, pronounced Gehedra, thought I admit I'm so used to my own way of saying it that I struggle to change. So Gihydra <laughs> is a powerful software tool for reverse engineering and analyzing compiled code. And what is a compiled code? When writing a program for computer, PC or Mac, for example, or a cell phone, smartphone, we can use instructions directly hard-coded for microcontrollers. This type of programming language is categorized as low-level because it is directly translated into code that the microcontroller understands one-to-one. -one. one example of such a language is assembler. In this guide, we will work mainly in assembler to analyze factory ACU, so engine control unit from the car, to so analyze factory um, ECU code and add our own modifications. Alternatively, programs for microcontrollers can be written in high level language like C which are much easier for humans to read and understand and maintain, of course. High-level languages dominate the software world because they are easier to maintain, rebuild, port to other operational system, particularly for large and complex projects where a bigger group of, of programmers work at one program, one project. So um, ECU programs are typically written in C or a similar language or even in a very high level language where operations, memory maps, uh, data flows are represented as diagrams, arrows, blocks, something like that. So once developed, uh, a compiler converts these programs step by step into the binary files, so machine code. The resulting binary it is the code the microcontroller understands, and this is exactly that binary file that you read from the ECU for analysis. So now maybe about uh, working with uh, car software. We will work specifically with car controllers in this guide because I focus on car software in my life. Such as uh, multi-map switches, launch control, and similar solutions based on analyzing car controller programs. If you are here, you are likely under already uh, use tools like Windows to modify engine power and torque. Maybe to switch off some options in the in the software, like so-called ecology. So you are now looking to expand your knowledge. Perhaps you are a beginner or haven't even installed GI Dry yet. So don't worry, we will cover all the bases. Mm, Gihydra, we are talking about Gihydra, Gihydra, Gihydra. What Gihydra is and what isn't. It is essential to understand that Gihydra is not a tool for quick modifications, like adding launch control or multi map switches into controllers. It is not a Swiftex style. Maybe you have heard about Swiftex or use it. So it is not a Swiftex style program for automating uh, tasks like disabling driver errors or um, performing quick tuning. Instead, Gihydra is designed for analyzing, reversing, and understanding existing code read from the microcontroller. Your success with Gihydra will largely depend on your skills. So the goal of this guide is to help you to become familiar with this work environment. I use Winnells for map tuning, car tuning. So I combine Gihydra with Winnells in this training course. So in our workflow, Winnells will be used as the editor for binary files. At the same time, Gihydra will serve as a tool for analysis, reverse engineering, and obviously adding our custom code. If you are not already using Winnells, because you are using other editors, 
I recommend downloading at least the demo version from the EVC website. It is presented here. Both tools work hand in hand with Windows for editing and GIDRA for deeper binary analysis. So let's get started. Thank you.